Well, I think Charles Dickens might be rather pleased with what's happening in England these days. Well, Charles Dickens may be, but I know a lot of Britishers who aren't <laughs> Yeah, that happy. I can believe. For the second time in a week, England got it again, and London this time got the worst of it. Over a foot of snow fell yesterday, and there wasn't much anybody could do about it. Ouch. Weathermen over there say it's the heaviest pre-Christmas snow they've seen in over 30 years. Temperatures as cold as 8 above froze the mighty hands on the Tower Big Ben, the first time that many people can remember that ever happened. Now, there were some picturesque scenes, like uh, this one. It almost looked like the front of a postcard, or even the Christmas cards. You know, the odds of even having a white Christmas in London are 20 to 1, but odds makers say it's 3 to 1 this year. Good news to everyone with a sled and a hillside and all those other fun things that go with new snow. Well, for this weekend, if you want to do some skiing downhill or across country, this is the way it looks across the state of Minnesota. Don't go in the west central part of the state. There's less than one inch out there, but much of Minnesota has one to five inches. There's a narrow band of a little more than five inches from southwest Minnesota across the Twin Cities. The Arrowhead section, with one exception, the North Shore has five to eight inches, and there's five to eight inches right along the Minnesota-Iowa border. Well, we were hoping to get a little sunshine today. It didn't happen, did it? That was assuming this very weak front kicked through the Twin Cities. That didn't do it either. The two go hand in hand, so we've got our clouds and we still have our front. And what is happening, we still basically have that elongated area of low pressure to the west and an elongated area of high pressure to the east. And the two of them are sending up some wet air from the Gulf of Mexico. That's only resulting in clouds and flurries in the southern part of Minnesota and Wisconsin. But in the northern part of the state where they have a little help in the upper levels of the atmosphere, there's some significant snow coming down. Let's take a look at both sections of the state. First, on the KSTP color radar, this is live within 143 miles of the Twin Cities. And right now, we're looking at ground targets around the center of the scope. Maybe some flurries embedded in there, but we are seeing some more light snow midway between Alexandria and Brainerd. But if we go into the northern part of the state and check the Fargo radar and our wide area radar network, the National Weather Service radar up there is showing some very significant snow in eastern North Dakota and northwestern Minnesota. It's coming down heavy enough where the roads are getting slick two to four inches as possible, and you guessed it. There are some advisories out, traveler's advisories to be exact. For tonight, it's in the northwestern corner of Minnesota, and for tomorrow, it's in the northeastern corner of the state. Again, that's for two to four inches of new snow. None of that has anything to do with the Twin Cities. In fact, right now, it's kind of quiet. We're overcast at 10 o'clock with a temperature of 31, humidity 66%, and the air pressure is leveled off. The high today? Current reading of 31, the overnight low 23, both of those a little above average, and so far the Twin Cities has had no snow for today. You know, the trend for the next couple of days is towards cooler wear, cooler air and uh, cooler temperatures. Look at what's happening up in northwestern Canada. Some teens and 20s and 30s are getting organized, and that shows every sign of heading on down towards Minnesota as the upper winds begin changing around once again. Well, this first front is supposed to get through the Twin Cities during the day tomorrow, the cold front, the real cold air, should come through about dinner time tomorrow as well. So look for colder temperatures through the weekend, but really no significant snow for a while. Details of the forecast look like this. Tonight, it'll be cloudy and mild with just a chance of light snow or flurries, lows of 22 to 27. For tomorrow, a lingering chance of light snow or flurries tomorrow morning, then decreasing cloudiness in the afternoon with highs of 25 to 30. Tomorrow night and Sunday, partly cloudy and turning colder. Lows tomorrow night, 6 to 14. Sunday's highs, 20 to 25. Precipitation chances are only 30% tonight and tomorrow morning. The outlook, a chance of flurries Monday and Tuesday, partly cloudy. And oh boy, is it getting cold for Wednesday. It certainly is. Time to think about breaking out the ice skates. I imagine those rinks can get nice and hard this weekend if they're oh, yeah. flooded. Thanks, Dennis. snow we would have and you hit it right on the nose again we got what we expected but it was no pleasure driving in it because the slippery roads were right, some of the yes. worst i've seen so far this season color radar about 4 30 this afternoon was showing a band of light snow forming just to the west of mankato but it didn't stay there very long as we roll this time wraps along it spread into the southern part of the twin cities around 5 36 o'clock and the bulk of it fell across the southern metropolitan area and by about 8 or 9 o'clock it disappeared somewhere into northern Wisconsin. Let's go live. This is within 143 miles of the Twin Cities still and we still have a little bit of light snow and flurries taking place. Most of what you're seeing are ground targets but there's a band of light snow on the Scott and Carver County border. A little bit of uh, activity in Washington County, some in Anoka and Isani County, still moving to the northeast but I believe most of it is over and there doesn't appear to be anything to the west either. Just to make sure, we'll check the wide area radar network, and here's the Weather Service radar from Huron, South Dakota, 
and everything is free. So how, how much did we get? Well, we checked with our weather observers and about what we expected. In the neighborhood of an inch, a little less, a little more in the northern and western suburbs, but look to the south. One to two inches fell, including an inch and a half from Prior Lake, 2.2 inches in Cannon Falls, and there's that isolated three-incher we talked about at 5.30. That fell in Red Wing. Now the uh, crews haven't really had a good chance to go out and salt and sand the streets, so things are still a bit slippery out there. As a result, travelers' advisories remain in effect for the southern one-third of Minnesota. That includes the Twin Cities, but I don't believe you'll have any problems going to work tomorrow morning. By then, the crews should be out, and the road should be in pretty good shape. Well, in the Almanac, officially out at the airport, nine-tenths of an inch of new snow fell today. The high, 33, the low, 28, and that's where we are right now. At 10 o'clock, the dew point is 24, humidity 85%. Winds in northwest right now, that's a clue to our changing weather, and the pressure steady at 30.16 inches. All day today, we've been waffling between two different weather systems. One is in the eastern half of the country. That's a mild Pacific air mass, which has been with us for much of last week. And the circulation around that high brought in some wet air that kept the clouds in and also gave us some freezing drizzle early this morning. But now some polar air is beginning to move in from the northwest and the leading edge has finally kicked through the Twin Cities. That's keeping our clouds in too, but it helped to change the precipitation that we had today over to snow. And as you can tell, the bulk of the precipitation is to the south of Minnesota. Let's check it on our satellite sequence. We'll roll this along for the last eight hours. And look at this. Here's this massive cloud shield associated with that weather system, but it is well to the south of Minnesota, at least the worst part of it is. And the latest picture from the satellite of the five-state region shows generally cloudy skies continuing throughout much of the area, but temperatures are getting colder. In fact, 10 o'clock readings across the five-state area show single digits showing up in North Dakota. It's nine right now at Alexandria, but to the southeast in the mild air, temperatures are around the freezing mark. Plenty of cold air where that came from. High temperatures today to the northwest show highs only in the teens in northwestern Minnesota and covering much of central Canada. And that's what we have in store for us by Tuesday or Wednesday. The air mass supporting that cold air is to the northwest, but that'll barrel into Iowa by tomorrow night. So look for gradually improving weather, but it's going to get colder too. Details look like this for tonight. The traveler's advisory remains in effect for slippery roads, cloudy and colder with occasional light snow or flurries, but little additional accumulation is expected. Lows of 16 to 23. For tomorrow, cloudy and colder, a lingering chance of flurries, highs of 23 to 28. Tomorrow night and Tuesday, variable cloudiness and colder. Lows of 5 to 15. Highs Tuesday, 16 to 22. Precipitation chances will decrease to 30% by tomorrow morning. And the outlook. Partly cloudy and cold from Wednesday through Friday. Lows in the single digits. Highs struggling into the upper teens. Ooh, looks like nice mid-December kind of yes. weather. <laughs>